Whoa, this is easy, and I'm going to show you how to make this trombone. And um, what I'm going to be using is this um, macro uh, script I got here. Um, I'll have a link below the video if you want to check it out. Uh, it's for hotkeys for the Z modeler. Um, I'm going to be playing back this video and kind of narrating it for you, so I'll make it everything a little bit quicker. And in the video, you will not probably see this pop-up menu like this um, because the video is not going to be playing it, so speed everything up. And another thing is, um, most of the times when I'm selecting the uh, edit brush here, that's a lot of times when I'm using the right click because I am editing the brush. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to start uh, narrating this and play the video back. And I'm going to try to be as accurate as I can. I might make a slight mistake. So uh, I'm just going to play the movie here. Um, as you can see, my playback uh, frame rate is 20. Um, a lot of people like to upload their videos and they go like uh, pretty fast. Well, sometimes you go too fast, uh, kind of hard to understand. So we're going to set this at 20, a little tip for you. Then I'm going to play the movie and just kind of narrate it for you as I go. As you can see, I got this little cube here and it's drawn out equal spacing for the cube here. This will allow me, and I'm, I'm polygrouping as I go along. Then, um, the equal spacing is where I can get, you know, good square tubes out of it. Well, a round tube, not square tube. And I'm dragging. When I get to the corner here, I'm going to polygroup it and extrude it back out. And I want to keep different groups. Get to the end there. I do make a few mistakes, but uh, that's kind of normal. Now I delete the ends here, and I'm going to be using the bridge here. So I can make this little round here. And when I get it done, all I have to do is click out the other end down here. And that bridges that out right there with a curve on it. I think I use circle curve. Now I'm polygrouping this where the, uh, you can see right here as I'm clicking all three in a row there. And I'm using an insert there. Now if you look up in the left hand corner here, you can see what I'm using here. Um, the video might be a little bit too fast and things might not be aligned. Now I'm extruding it. Alright. Now I need the little um, insert there. And I'm going through all the ones here. Because I'm going to be um, key meshing all these together. Now since I extruded all three, uh, three polys there in a row. Um, what's going to happen is the insert is going to be kind of oblong. I want it kind of square. So here in a second, I'm going to be using equalize. You'll see I'm doing it right there. I'm equalizing all the inserts together at one time, um, which is pretty quick and actually pretty nifty. Yeah, there's my one of my mistakes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set these together here. I got hotkeys where I can see what I'm doing here. So it looks like when it's smooth with subdivision. Alright, um, at the end there, it looks like something screwed up, so I'm just going to delete that and click that with the uh, bridge again, and and it stored the original bridge, which is pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to start deleting some of the, um, all these little cubics that I don't really need. Alright, then I'm going to press delete hidden, and I'm going to uh, bridge them back together. We're going to go ahead and uh, fill that hole and extrude it without the cubic. And here in a second on there, I went with a scale here. And I don't think I end up pushing this back with a new brush. Let me insert there the edge. And then I use the key mesh. I think that was polyglip on that. Insert there. Push that back. Now when I subdivide it, you need to have that way back in there. Then I'll have to end up scaling that way down. So it doesn't stick on the outside. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more uh, key meshing up here to make it a little bit more rounded at the end of the trombone. And I don't look too bad there. And for the mouthpiece here, I'll be working on and kind of basically doing the same thing here. So I did the insert there. Now I need to push the insert back, then I'm going to try scaling again, but it, for some reason it's not letting me scale it, so I'm going to press undo here in a second and scale it from right there. It makes it work a lot better, then I'm going to push it back. And pretty much.
much that's going to be the final one right there and this is with the render and thank you very much